What's good, family? Going to share something with y'all that I wrote. Uh, people want to know how I see the process of learning languages. So I wrote this down, and hopefully you guys can marinate on it. And, uh, you know, get something from it. But I'm just, I just share straight from the heart. I do everything straight from that same place. And only until I did do things from that place did I really realize what rhythm and harmony really is. But let's get on with it. And uh, you can find this in the description box. So cut it and paste it for yourself and study it, read it over, and uh, keep learning. My view on what learning languages is all about. There is no growth through reduction. Period. You see, when I learn a language, I only place my energy into hearing and aligning myself with the natural flow of the culture. All culture is the same in essence, but it's the expressions are unique to themselves. Once you understand the one, it becomes easy to listen for the expression. Listening is a biological process. Growth is a biological process. What we have in these schools and training courses are destructive. Those who control the classes don't know the difference between contraction and destruction. You see, contraction is a reduction only on the surface. But the movement is always 100% complete in harmony with nature full pure destruction is the result of ignoring factors important to the movement but can't be perceived by the destroyer that's what that's what reduction is reduction is is reduction is destructive because it 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 kills the flow of that which is being reduced. It kills the, the life force of it. <clears throat> when I taught myself languages, I realized the power of listening. Listening is a science you can only teach yourself. When you exercise it in balance, the adaptation would be physical. Feeling one's head, feeling one's head full of knowledge doesn't cause you to grow. The information must be whole or it will not join your ocean of understanding. It would be more sand in your desert of confusion. There are many people who claim to speak many languages, but no one ever asked those people, how many languages can you hear? You see, in nature, speech would reflect your hearing Folks claiming to be uh, to speak many languages, however, have placed all of their energy into imitating natives. Such speech does not fool a native speaker. Because again, imitation is a reduction. Imitation is a reduction. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very destructive a way of a so-called hearing. There's not there's no hearing involved in imitation. You see, spe uh, such speech doesn't fool a native speaker. The native ear is very discriminating. A native can hear how true to the culture you are just by your accent. And this cannot be faked. It can't be faked because reflections are always whole and complete. But imitation is not a true reflection of anything. It's a, you know, something projects to you 100% and a reflection sends 100% back as feedback. Imitation does not send 100% back because uh, the, the imitator does not understand that which he is pushing back at the native speaker. The native speaker gives you 100% and you're giving him 30. You're giving him 40. You're giving him 65%. He knows that. 
feels that. And such kind of conversation is draining. It doesn't it doesn't edify anyone. So you just might as well just be honest because honesty and truthfulness and and uh and and earnestness, you know, that 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 fills everybody up. That's you know, the soul is an internal sun. You know, it feeds the people. You have to operate from that area, folks. So the next time you watch a YouTube video of a so-called polyglot, I don't use I don't use words like that on myself, by the way. But uh, you know, so-called polyglots and omniglots and and greater than everybody in the whole goddamn world glots. <laughs> next time you watch one of the videos. These uh, these people who lack humility, you know, and you know some of them who are called that. I notice they never call themselves that. They are very humble, and they get what I'm saying. So if this video strikes you the wrong way, you one of those omnipoly super su super hyper hyper glots that I'm talking about. You know, no one who's no one who's who's vibing with what I'm saying would that call themselves that. And if you look at it. People like us are called those things, but we never call ourselves that. But anyway, back back to back to what I'm saying. Next time you watch a video of these omni super hyper pipe uh, py, uh polyglots, just notice how little these so called near native speakers of foreign languages actually interact with native speakers at all. Uh the accent naturally reflects your true level of hearing. The only way to condition hearing is to listen. Until you can speak musically without forcing your accent, your only job is to listen. Listening causes physical changes within the body and makes the language light and easy. Uh, people who do most of their learning from textbooks and classes tend not to listen as intently as they should. They are fearful around native speakers. They are fearful around whole language literature and one language dictionaries. Listening is the exercise that gives you the ability to grow freely and naturally in your chosen language. The next time someone boasts about their speaking ability, ask for an example of the ability to hear the same language. It is hearing that trains speaking. And speaking without hearing will never ever allow you to connect and grow with the culture if growth and understanding isn't what you're seeking from languages what's the point all right all right so all right family so uh marinate on that peace out